The Saturday Show from Amazing Radio. Presented by Colin Greaves and Matt Horn, it's a three-hour audio adventure that's taken the nation by storm. But what happens behind the scenes? It's a shocking tale of addiction that will blow your mind. It started off like like any other normal addiction, I think. You do a, a, a spoonful of mash, and before you know it, you're doing two spoonfuls of mash, you've got a bit of roast on the side, you're doing roast covered in mash. Started making faces out of them, you know, with the spoons, I dance, chatting in their faces. I'm going to kill you. I'm done, done. You know you've got a problem when you're cleaning another man's potato. I, you know, I'd seen him, you know, when I watch him and that sometimes, I, I mean, I don't, but I do. And, and, you know, I'd seen him lying in his bed surrounded by potatoes and he hadn't even washed them, you know, his sheets were black and so was his face. While all was rosy on air, there was a crippling addiction sprouting behind the mic. Over the next five minutes, we'll see how this craving for tube has spread into Colin's life in Behind the Microphone. Well, we we first got the uh, the radio gig, uh, Amazing Radio, and uh, we're we're both excited, myself and Matt, and um, and to be honest, we went out and and we partied. We we really really celebrated. We we hit the hit the town hard. I mean, we just signed to Amazing Radio, and we were both like never been happier. This dream gig, National Radio Show, Saturday morning breakfast. I mean, getting up at nine o'clock that was that was tough, and I think that's what's took its toll more on Colin than me. He started getting a little bit obsessed, you know, with these uh, with these root vegetables. And it started off all of them, you know, like parsnips and carrots and that, and, and sweet potatoes as well, and turnips. But then uh, then it just sort of focused in on, uh, on the potato, you know. What started as a simple weight loss diet soon became the elephant in the corner of the room. An elephant that was addicted to potatoes. He do, he do out. Anything he can get his hands on. Jersey Royals, those big fat baked ones. Uh, it'd be it'd be King Edwards, you know. It'd be them them red ones, the roasters. Jira, uh, you need potatoes. You boiled. Smiley faces. Um, those alpha bite things. I once saw him munching on a packet of frozen curly fries, just just for taste. So, uh, he just went a bit mad. I remember there was a. There was a story in a paper about me being addicted to vegetables, and, and, and to be fair, he was, he was kind of on right on the button. They, they, they'd hit the spot there, um, and I disgraced myself. I knew I had. But while Colin was dancing away on a starchy platform of vegetable trouble, Matt was hiding his problems in a metaphorical green bucket. It, it did start as a way of tidying up Colin's mess. I was in denial. I didn't want Amazing to find out what was going on. I was cleaning up the potato skins, the empty crisp packets. Matt just, he, he cleaned everywhere. He would, uh, he would start off by cleaning what had been going on with, with Colin's thing, and then it just sort of escalated from there. He'd be sat there cleaning his own fingernails constantly until he had none left. He was walking walk around with no fingernails. That was no good for anybody because he couldn't press the buttons at the station. Mark had to do all of that. He's not very good at it anyway. His cleaning addiction was 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 getting worse, and, uh, and before we knew it, we were, he was cleaning my potatoes for me. He was he used to clean his potatoes as soon as he cleaned my potatoes. I would eat them. I would eat them. He was he was like a conveyor belt of addiction. I don't think it really was here, yeah, Colin. I'm going to clean a potato for you. Have this potato. Matt was just cleaning out what was there, and mostly what was there was potatoes. Their addictions were hidden at first, but when a filming crew came to make a documentary about Amazing Radio, what they filmed was a shameful wake-up call. If you want to get in contact with the show, you can do it easily on Twitter at Colin and Matt and Facebook.com forward slash Colin and Matt. This next song is I Break Horses with Hearts. Polishing Colin's potato while he ate shocked the nation and spun their world into black and white. That was a bad time. That was a really bad time. Uh, I disgraced myself. I disgraced my colleagues and my employees. Uh, my friends, Matt in particular. He, I, I, it was it was a bad time. I was I wouldn't let anyone else get in my potatoes. If, if anyone touched them, I would I'd really get aggressive. Uh, I was mentally unstable. 
It was a starch. Um, scientists and, and doctors have, have since told me that it's, it's the, uh, the chemical balance of the starch in my brain that made me aggressive towards people who either um, like took away my potatoes or they tripped and tried to touch potato. Uh, I, it, it was just me. It was me and potato. I was I was like the the head of the potato family. I, I, was, I was a potato head, effectively. Bring me in any time. Cool. It's not a problem. The documentary even showed how Colin's potato pushing affected everyone at the station. Oh, what is that, man? Seriously? <sighs> but it got worse. That was the low point, you know, the, with the smash. The infamous yeah. smash incident, yeah. The smash. Yeah. Face plant in a pile of dehydrated potato. I mean, it wasn't even mixed with water. Just not even real potato. God knows what that stuff's made from. I, I think I was the first one to see him, but I didn't tell anybody, you know, because I'm not, I'm not supposed to be watching him. I used to get a little bit of the, of the smash. I used to put a little bit of water in a teaspoon, and then, uh, and then heat it up from beneath. Uh, with a lighter to suit to get instant uh, warm mashed potato. He, I looked him in the eye. He couldn't see me. He was cross-eyed at the time, but I looked. I, well, I tried to look him in the eye, and uh, I, I picked one. And I just said, "Look, Colin, mate, the smash. Look at yourself. Look at what you're doing." The documentary smashed Colin's addiction into the mainstream. While a nation worried, those closest to him tried to get Colin back on track. It's easy to hide. Um, a bag of smash in, in back pocket and the like. So do random searches on a Saturday morning just to make sure he's not getting his hit. Producer Mark, he started to instigate pat downs when we came into the building to see if Colin was carrying. Um, and the telltale sign would be the bulge in his pocket. Sometimes that wasn't potato, that was just unfortunate. But the majority of time, it was even just a sneaky little new potato down in his boxes. You could get away with that. But it was when he started bringing in the bakes. When his family came up, um, we tried to slap him about a bit, that didn't really work. Um, you know, I, I've, I've physically had to rugby tackle him a couple of times when he was going after potatoes. Uh, we had to stop him going anywhere near potatoes for a while. Friends and family helped me get over my addiction. They, they really helped. Um, my, my family came up, um, I think uh, maybe other people have discussed the fact that my brother had to beat me up a few times, uh, really trying to literally smack some sense into me. I think Matt just said, yeah, Colin, you can have potatoes with all of your food, but you, you can have other food as well, you know, you can have mashed potatoes with your Sunday lunch, you can even have roast potatoes. And I think it was more a case of them being weaned off the constant potato intake than it was of him not eating potatoes anymore, because I think he still eats them. He's, he's not 100% potato free, no. Um, he is, uh, he's moved on to sweet potato, but that's all right, that's a recreational potato. You can get away with a bit of sweet potato every now and then. He's only doing it on weekends, which is um, acceptable. From snorting smash to rubbing his roasts, Colin had done it all. But with the help of his friends and family, he was able to get his tuba troubles under control. The Saturday show got back to doing what it did best, wasting three hours of the nation's Saturday morning. And that is what happened behind the microphone. The charity single was a good idea. Um, I've got a, I'll, I'll play a little bit to you. Um, thanks for asking, uh, royalties. It, uh, it's a, a simple E chord, followed by a minor A, sad, but then happy with a G. And then back to sad, because he did a potato. But at the end, everyone was happy, and it went into a little bit of a scar bit with a, a, a little bit of this. Oh no, he's had a potato. Uh, just that repeated for four hours.